Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Bugatti Automobiles, Mr. Stefan Winkelmann. Bonjour, mesdames, messieurs, et bienvenue chez Bugatti. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Geneva and welcome to Bugatti. This year we celebrate our 110th anniversary and we have seen glorious times in the past, but also surpassed challenges. And this is what made us who we are today. It's a privilege on one hand side, but it's also a responsibility for our future. If we speak about design for Bugatti, then we have to speak about Jean Bugatti, who is the firstborn son of Ettore Bugatti. And in fact, he was the designer of the Bugatti Atlantic, a beauty and a true legend also today, and a source of inspiration also for us as Bugatti. La Voiture Noire is more than the celebration of our 110th anniversary. And it's also more than a modern interpretation of the Bugatti Atlantique. The Voiture Noire is a beauty on its own. It's a car which we love from the first sight, and we call it the ultimate Gran Turismo. And if we look at the design, it's from stunning proportions. It's uh, elegant and puristic at the same time. And if you look at the bodywork, there's not one line too many. La Voiture Noire is a one of one. It's a automotive haute couture at its best. And for us, it's the pinnacle of our product portfolio. And uh, when uh, we uh, first presented the car, it was immediately sold for a price of 16.7 million euro. And then we have another world premiere here on my left-hand side, which uh, is to celebrate the 110th anniversary. It's the Chiron Sport Sondison Bugatti. We are going to build the car only 20 times. And to underline, let's say, our French heritage, we have tricolores on the outside and the interior. And we also created a special color we call Met steel blue. All the 20 units luckily are already sold and this is very good news for us in Bugatti. Meanwhile, we will continue to work hard on the future of this company and the brand. Thank you very much. Merci and vive la marque. Thank you. So it's about cruising, really, to enjoy the ride and uh, also to enjoy the looks from the people which are uh, yeah, seeing you passing by. Jean Bugatti was ahead of his time. He was a visionary. And uh, when we did the Veyron at the beginning of this millennium, it was really a car which was setting the pace, and still it is. And with the Chiron, we made the perfect car even better. So we have an engine, which is, let's say, the USP of our, of our brand today, with an 8-liter capacity and 16-cylinder and 1,500 horsepower, which is unsurpassed in uh, the automotive industry. We have uh, customers constantly asking for more. We are a small company, few people, so we have to concentrate on the basics. But uh, if we have the opportunity, we could do much more. We are going to do events, yes, for our customers, but also for the uh, Bugatti enthusiasts. And I will give you one example. We will do a Grand Tour at the beginning of September, starting from Milan, where Ettore Bugatti was born, going down to Monte Carlo, to Lyon, Paris, and then 
uh, to our hometown Molsheim. So this will be a, a big tour for our customers, but it will also be an opportunity for the enthusiasts to come to see us in Molsheim. Well, the three cars that you see behind us uh, starts with the 110-year celebration on the base of uh, one of our Chirons. But then it continues on with the Divo, which we did 40 cars off. And we introduced this in the summer of 2018. And today we're showing you this last step of our elevation, which is a one-off car just for today for the Geneva Motor Show for one customer only. Well, whatever we do, it should still be instantly recognizable as a Bugatti, you know? And if you ask me what are some basic characteristic elements, then it's obviously the horseshoe grille that you see in the front, the strong center line accentuation, and the Bugatti line that is visible from the side. A Bugatti will be foremost be something that has an ultimate technical USP, no? which you have, for example, on the Chiron. It is this power plant and the drivetrain that really separates this car in its segment from all other competitors. Complemented with that is obviously a, a stylistic evolution that is based on that technical development. It's our design philosophy that form follows performance. And whatever is happening technically on the car, you should be able to see that on the outside and that the outside styling approach fits to the technical engineering approach. It's probably the most special project that I've ever worked on, to be honest. Uh, it has been, as an idea, laying in our drawers then, since more than 10 years. But now was the possibility to activate that idea, uh, to celebrate 110 years of Bugatti, and then eventually also then finding the right customer that also had a liking to La Vature Noire, to the Atlantics in general, and to that special Atlantic that was lost uh, during the Second World War. That created a very special story, and that was very dear to our heart, to make something out of that story. And therefore, you have it sitting here today as a modern interpretation of exactly that car. We had in mind to create something else than the Devo is offering. The Devo offers lateral performance, more downforce, better road holding, more camber angles. This car is offering a Gran Turismo experience. You're supposed to take this car in all elegance and style and travel over the mountain passes and arrive down there in the seaside. The Grand Voyage, so to say, is the purpose of this car. Well, it's again this aspect of not being trapped into a retro idea. Whenever we do something, even if it's a, a quote or a reminiscence to a, a classic car, we should really look forward in our technology that is available to us today or even uh, tomorrow. That's how Jean Bugatti would see it as well. If he would be still around, having a chance to recreate La Vature Noire for himself, he would obviously do that with modern day technology and come to an interpretation with the genes of the heritage and of the original car, for sure, but looking forward instead of looking back. For this La Voiture Noire, um, we have basically uh, done an outstanding job to bring it and to celebrate 110 years anniversary of the brand, uh, but not only 110 years anniversary of Bugatti, 110 years anniversary of Jean Bugatti himself. So the inspiration was the Type 57 SC Atlantic, the personal car from Jean Bugatti himself that was piano black, completely black. So it came why we took basically this car and turned it into a car that we called La Voiture Noire, because this is how uh, the colleagues and like, you know, the family of Jean Bugatti called his car. How do you make such a car into an authentic and recognizable Bugatti? You need from the top view, from the side view, the front view and the rear view, iconic items. And out of those iconic items, you obviously have from the side view the signature line, which on a Bugatti Chiron, this is a much more gentle and much rounder, but this is making the car look thinner. 
the signature line go from the front, middle of the windscreen, all the way to the side and all the way to the whole shoe. It's strange the car, it makes it completely more elegant, makes it more elongated front fenders. So this is regarding the side. If we are moving to the front, we obviously have the iconic horseshoe, which defines what you have in your rearview mirror as being coming, as being unmistakable a Bugatti. When we are here in the front, obviously, when we're talking about uh, inspiration from a Type 57 SC Atlantic, we have this centerline accentuation. This is not anymore only a little crisp line on the bonnet. This is an aluminum inlays inside the carbon, which basically uh, uh, mimics this uh, riveted centerline that you have on the Atlantic.